Hey y'all, it is a very rainy, yucky, disgusting day outside, but today is the day that I need to pack because we are getting ready to go to London very soon and we're going right after Christmas, so I'm really excited about that. But at the same time, we have like three different Christmas parties we need to go to. We have a church we need to go to where my daughter's in a performance. And so it's just been crazy. And today is the day that I need to get my life together. I need to pack and get ready to go. And I thought it would be fun to take you along with me and kind of show you how I personally pack for myself. I'm not doing my whole family right now. I wanted to kind of show you how I pack relatively minimally. I am not an extreme minimalist when it comes to packing, but I do try to pack light. And we only ever use a carry-on and I'll have my small purse to take with me also. For me, it's just one of those things that like, because we're traveling and we're going abroad, we are gonna have to go, you know, on a train or in a taxi and just having a big bulky suitcase is just too much for me and I don't really need it. So the first thing I always look at is the forecast. And right now I think we're about seven days out, maybe a little less from when we are leaving. And so it's still kind of hard to know exactly what it's gonna be like in London. But I do know that every day there is a slight chance of rain and it's London guys. So if you've ever been there or you've heard about London, you know that it likes to rain. We've always lucked out. We've been a couple times before and it's never rained. So who knows? But I'm going to be packing my rain gear. I also have an umbrella that's coming uh, from Amazon and I don't have it yet. So that's gonna be thrown in my bag last minute to come with me. But I'm gonna be bringing my boots which I have sprayed with like leather protectant so I can use those as my rain boots. I also know that this trip is right around New Year's. It's right after Christmas and we're gonna be there through New Year's. I've never been to London in New Year's and so we're very excited about this, but I do wanna have an outfit that's slightly more dressy than what I would normally bring with me if I was just going on a trip. So that means that I need something semi-nice for New Year's something a little bit dressy for date night, and then just regular walking clothes that I'm gonna be comfortable in, whether it's raining or not raining, whether it's cold or warmer. So that means layering. So if you already have a capsule wardrobe, it's definitely gonna help you out packing because you already have things that go together. But if you don't, it's totally fine. Look for things in a color palette. Like my colors you're gonna see are mainly browns and blacks and blues. Those are the colors that I feel comfortable in, that I enjoy just in my daily life. And so I wanna make sure that I'm comfortable as I go somewhere else on a trip. I don't wanna have to worry about what I'm wearing or if it looks right, or you know, is it a different style than I'm used to? I want it to be the absolute most favorite of all of my clothes that I'm bringing with me and my most comfortable. The other thing is that, the other tip is that when you are going on an airplane, make sure that you are wearing your heaviest clothes. I know as someone who now I have taken a lot of airplane trips, it really makes the difference um, being able to pack when you are wearing your heaviest clothes. Plus, I have been on the absolute worst Iceland flight. I love Iceland, but when we flew there, the airplane we took, for some reason, it was freezing cold and I had not worn my heaviest clothes, so I was freezing the whole time on the trip and it was miserable for six hours. So wear your heaviest clothes and pack in layers and so that when you're on the airplane, God forbid it's freezing, you're gonna be okay. And if it is warmer, you can always take layers off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. My heaviest things are going to be coming with me onto the airplane and then everything else is going into my bag. I've already planned out the special days and then just regular days in my head that I need. I know it's gonna be seven total days and so I'm gonna need seven total outfits but I'm gonna make sure that I can mismatch certain things so I don't have to bring too much. So this is a total nine hour flight six hours to get to Iceland and then three more hours to get to London. So I wanna make sure I'm comfortable. So I'm gonna be wearing a like medium weight sweatshirt, uh, sweatpants and my socks, my heaviest boots, which these are amazing. These are actually boy boots, but um, because I'm a seven, seven and a half, I can fit into a six boys and these are so comfortable. And then of course I'm gonna bring my heaviest coat because it will be chilly there and it's slightly rain resistant, so that will help too with the rain. 
So that's going to be that. And I think I'm also underneath this, I'm going to wear a t-shirt so that if I do get warm, which I don't expect to, but if I do on the airplane, I can take that off. So this is day one. I just threw in my t-shirt that I'm going to wear throughout the week anyway, and I'm going to wear that underneath so I don't get too warm. I'm planning out my outfits. So I started with day one. Now I'm going to throw in another outfit, which is a dark pair of jeans. And I think I'm just going to do a very basic black long sleeve t-shirt with it. I am gonna throw in my black blazer as another option to wear as another layer, but I don't think I'm gonna be bringing my other one just because it's gonna start to get too heavy. So I just have my black blazer that goes with everything. For day three, I'm gonna bring my last pair of pants I'm gonna bring. So I'm gonna bring three different kinds of pairs of pants. And this is a light wash, more like mom jean kind of pants. And I'm gonna bring like a camel light long sweater that is a nice underlayer just because it's not super warm. So I can wear it with either my black blazer or I can just wear it underneath my coat. So this is three days worth. This is like the main day. Plus I'm gonna rewear this stuff on the plane again on the way back. These are my clothes for the first two days. And now what I'm gonna be doing is adding a few different tops but changing out the days that I wear my other pants. I'm only gonna be bringing three pairs of pants. And so this one is super casual. If we have a day where we're just going out walking and enjoying ourselves, then that's gonna be what I'm gonna wear again. But these are for days where I want to be a little more put together. Okay, so for day four, I have a black sweater, which I can wear under this blazer as well. And I have my light wash jeans that I wore the day before. And these aren't exactly the order I'm gonna be wearing things, but this is just kinda of giving me an idea of what I'm gonna see myself in so that I know I'm packing the right stuff. Day number five, I'm gonna be wearing my dark wash jeans again. I'm be wearing, this is a very like light knit camel turtleneck sweater. It's also semi-cropped, but these jeans go up high enough where I don't have to worry about it. And I think I'm just gonna throw my blazer on it again and wear that underneath my big coat probably with these boots again. These are the everyday boots for me and I already wear them about every single day. So I think they'll just be great and I already know I'm gonna be comfortable in them. The last layer I'm going to bring is this dark chocolate, really fun sleeved sweatshirt that will go with either jean for whatever day I want. So these are the total of the tops that I'm bringing. I'm bringing my chocolate brown sweatshirt, a black sweater, two, one long sleeve, one short sleeve shirt, two more like camel sweaters, and then the outfit I'm already wearing, which is a black sweatshirt and sweatpants. And then this is my one blazer I'm bringing for our trip. I'm gonna bring three pairs of pants, my sweatpants, and then a dark and a light pair of pants. Boot-wise, I'm gonna bring my Ugg boots that I wear every day. They are weatherproof, so those will work great even when it's raining. My last outfit is very simple. It's just a black short wrap dress with some black leggings and some black boots. I'm gonna bring this. I know it's kind of irritating, but I might wear these boots more than once if we have a fancier date night. But this will be either for New Year's or date night or whatever we end up doing while we're there that might be a little bit dressier. I just want one outfit that's a little bit nicer. But these boots are really fun and I feel like they go with most of my outfits anyway. So if I'm having a fabulous day, we'll throw those on if it's not raining. So this is the bag I'm gonna be using. I've used this on a ton of different trips. And when we actually went to Europe, I got a big book bag because I did need more. It was a whole month. But just because it's like seven, seven days, eight nights or something like that, I'm just gonna use this one and a purse for anything that is extra. But this bag, I actually think I got at Target a long time ago, but it's Lota brand, L-O-T-T-A. And it's been really sturdy through all the traveling that I've gone through. And it also just like collapses really easily. So that's always key when you're going and traveling on an airplane. Right, so a few 
few extras that I'm gonna throw in there is obviously enough underwear for the week. I'm gonna throw in like four or five pairs of socks because I know with the weather like it is now in London, I'm gonna be wearing socks every day, obviously, and all I'm bringing is boots, so I'm gonna need them. And then um, on the days that I don't have a new pair of socks, I am gonna rinse out the ones that I had the day before and just hang them up because that's pretty simple. So I might actually only bring like three because the socks that I'm bringing are wool and so they're very thick and big and they take up a lot of space. The other thing, I'm gonna bring like one regular bra and then I'm gonna bring a more like athletic regular bra that I wear every day just because I am bringing that dress. So I wanna have something that is appropriate with the dress. And the last thing is just a belt. So I'm gonna throw those in the bag and then I'm gonna show you like the little bit of accessories that I'm gonna be bringing. I'm gonna show you the toiletries I'm gonna bring, books I might be bringing or my purse because obviously I'm gonna have a few things to entertain me on the plane. So real quick, let's go over the different things that I am bringing and how I am storing them. So I'm gonna be bringing a small shampoo and conditioner, some hand sanitizer. So those are gonna have to go in my plastic bag because they're liquids. Hair stuff and accessories. I'm gonna wear these because I wear these about every day. And then I have my necklace that I wear every day. But then I'm also gonna bring a fun pair because it is New Year's to dress up my black outfit and a few hair things just in case my hair gets dirty and I wanna put it back. I'm also gonna bring my small wooden hairbrush. And then these are things that I'm going to, these two I'm gonna take out of their container and put into just a baggie so it's small, but I'm bringing some Aleve in case we get a headache and some l because guys, if you get mouth sores or if you end up biting your mouth and you get a little sore in it, l is my jam. This will heal it super quick. Uh, and then I have my own prescription stuff. And then this is actually Mucinex in case we start to feel low because it is winter right now. I'm going to bring my razor and some face wipes. And then these are the makeup products I'm bringing. So these ones, the liquid ones, are going to have to go in the bag with my shampoo and conditioner. But I have just a face cream that already has SPF in it. I have what I've been using right now is just like concealer and... Um, because I'm getting older, you need a few more products. <laughs> so this is like pore filler that I really like that I've just started using, Some foundation. And then this is an awesome product. I've really enjoyed using this um, lip plumper. <laughs> it's for day and night. And I don't know if it's actually doing anything, but it is um, refreshing to put on, so I like it. And then just my favorite mascara. And I got this little tiny deodorant, which is adorable. And I'm gonna have my two brushes and then just just a palette, which I just feel like is easier, and then a palette for eyeshadow. This will have my liquid, so it's easy to just take them out really quick when they wanna scan things. It's so funny, I always get confused about like, what is liquid like because technically these are liquid but like do you have to put this in the bag i don't know so put it in the comment below and help help me out because i don't know if lotion has to go in there but i'm going to put it in there anyway because i get paranoid in my mind when it comes to having to check your bags which is such a headache anyway but i understand why we need it um, I just always rather be safe than sorry. So I always, if I'm not sure, I just throw it in the bag anyway. Remember, leave me a comment if you have any other tips about flying and packing for a long trip. The book that I have started recently is called The Power of Now that I actually heard from another minimalist that I follow. And he said that it was a great book and that it really helped him to like take charge and be in the moment of his life. This is what I'm gonna be taking with me on my trip in my bag and probably like a chapstick and, and some gum, but that's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope that you're gonna come around for my next video because it is coming out very soon and it should be a great one to bring in the new year.